pits are used by the military to dispose of pretty much everything from medical waste to chemicals. But the fumes, the fumes can be deadly. Eight on your side, senior investigator Walt Pito now with the latest on the fight against these and other toxic exposures. And over the years, the military has actually denied burn pits even exist, but they are very real for the exposed, including a Newport Ritchie man who is making sure his wife's message will not be silenced. Burn pits were part of life for about a year of service in Iraq for Newport Ritchie veteran Lauren Price. For a decade after, she would be diagnosed with a series of terrifying ailments as she pushed the government to protect the exposed and douse the flames. And they will continue to deny and deny until we're all dead. Price founded Veteran Warriors and brought her battle to Congress about a week after this 2018 interview. What they're going to get is a big, nasty bowl of the truth of here are the facts, here's the policies, here's the laws that are in place. And these are the people that are dead or dying. Just days ago, her widower, who she raised five children with, returned to D.C. with more truth. She cannot be with us today because she died from her exposure to these toxins just five weeks ago. And an understandable fear about his year of exposure to the flames and fumes. I was almost always within 500 yards of Lauren, breathing the same air and traveling the same routes. Every day I wonder, is today the day that toxic exposure catches up with me? Lauren's most recent diagnosis hit Valentine's Day. An incurable cancer, doctors said, could be stalled for more than a year with chemotherapy. Lauren passed away on March 30th, 2021, at the age of 56, not 12 to 18 months after the diagnosis of cancer, 44 days. This is what toxic exposure can do. Price and veteran warriors are trying to push Congress to act on a package of laws that would protect veterans from toxins and help the many others already exposed. Care is the priority because compensation benefits do not help someone that is dead because they didn't get care. Price also reminded Congress burn pits are only one type of exposure source. He is also pushing to protect personnel exposed to chemical, biological, radioactive, and environmental toxins as well. It's just awful for him yeah. to think about and to, and to see her. Only right. 56 years 56. old and she's passed away. Any idea on how many veterans may have been exposed and will be dealing with this sort of trauma in their lives? So some idea, it's an estimate of about 216,000, but again, that's the number diagnosed, so the actual total is considered to be much higher than that, Keith. All right, thank you, Walt. And okay. if you have something you'd like Walt to investigate, you can call the 8 on your side helpline. There's the number on the screen, 1-800-338-0808. Max Defender 8, the most advanced weather radar in Florida, sponsored by Farrah and Farrah. Mostly inland showers.